Welcome to the video on how to pick a programming language. I have three different websites up that I want to walk you through that can help you make this decision. Um, the first thing you want to do is figure out, you know, what's the purpose here? Are you trying to get a job in programming? If so, we'll, we'll go down that path. The second question that you have to ask is, uh, uh, are you new to programming? Do you need to learn a, a programming language first to get the fundamental skills? And then move to one that uh, is, is maybe more highly in demand, uh, but is more complex to learn. The third question is, you know what, uh, if, if I'm not looking for a job, maybe I have some experience in programming. Uh, am I just wanting to start a company or, or build an app, an app store? Because depending on how you answer those questions, the, the, way, you, the way or type programming language you would pick would vary. So let's keep that in mind and we'll talk about that as, as we go through. So if we go to D-U-A-R-T-E-S dot org, uh, that's this website here. And what it does is it goes out and surveys. They have a couple different methods to do this, but they, um, in this case, he uses dice.com for this graph. But uh, they look at the open jobs by programming language. So the first one you can see is Java. Uh, there are 16 thousand five hundred roughly jobs open C++ it's showing 8,000 C sharp which is like Java but it's for .NET um, has 7,000 and then we move into the web-based languages and they they drop down a bit um, but you can see there are a lot of openings there if we go down to the trends uh, picture here this is a little bit misleading because what it shows is that uh, in this case C sharp the growth is dramatic, and it shows Java is, is, uh, has small growth and C++ is actually dropping off. And it's misleading because if we drill down here, and then we look at the absolute numbers, what you'll see is it's kind of inverse. There are a lot of C jobs open, and here it actually shows that it's trending up overall, but it had a downtrend in uh, two months here. Again, Java is trending up, and C Sharp is trending up. So the, the other graph is, is showing how the job, jobs are growing or how many they've seen over the last few months. But don't take that as an absolute of, I, I have to learn this, uh, in this case, C-sharp now, because that's where everything is going. If you look at the overall trends, and again, the job openings, there were a lot more in C++. So on the website, we can see Python, uh, Ruby. Again, there's a lot of growth that you can see in Ruby. Uh, Perl and PHP, they look small in comparison to Ruby, but when we drill down, it can be a little bit misleading because as we can see Ruby here, um, um, out of the jobs open, it's less than half a percent. And uh, there are a lot more open in other areas, so don't let those mislead you. The second thing I wanted to uh, show you was payscale.com. And if you look at that, it'll show you the, the average salaries for software developers. Um, uh, engineers, this one is a senior, so they pay more. Uh, Entry-level engineers, programming analysts, um, and then when you move into management. Uh, you could also, if we go to the top here, you can look at the pay by experience. and see that experience does correlate to the higher pay. Uh, it'll show you the top uh, names in the industry. So again, if you're looking for a job, you could target some of these companies if you have uh, different language skills. So note that that Google is probably going to be Java, Python, and some of these other ones, whereas Oracle would be Java. So if you're targeting a specific company, you may want to look up what, lang what languages that they're hiring for. You can go to their website and find that as well. And then um, in finance, some of these, let's see, uh, J.P. Morgan, um, Goldman Sachs, you could almost bet that they're going to be the C, C++, if they're an algorith algorithmic trading. Um, you can look at by city and see again um, there is a correlation by pay by city so New York San Francisco they tend to be more California you can look at company size um, and pay by the size of the company the other one I wanted to walk you through was tiobe dot com and uh, they they do more than look for open jobs so they look for trends they look for um, request searches, uh, groups, um, and then they use that to compile the different uh, language usage. So here we see 
Java is 17%, C is 17%, C++, um, actually C didn't show up in the other one. So that other uh, site over here, where they didn't even show C in this one, they showed that it has 17%. So these, these can vary. Yeah, in this one, they, and they tend to sample more, more websites. It's probably more accurate. And then they show the growth. And so if we look at Objective-C, which again, I don't think showed up in the other one, uh, we can see that the current usage is right around 7%. That's grown 3.5% this year. If we look on the trend, you can see it's really exponential. Um, and so in this particular language, this is for Mac, iPhone, iPad. And we can, you can assume that there has been a lot of growth in that area. So last year it was position eight, now it's position five. So again, you can look for these trends. You can look by company, you can look by uh, industry to see what language, what languages they're using. And then you can learn that. If you're new to programming, what you want to do is pick out a starter language, maybe a, a, a Pascal, which is actually meant as a teaching language. There are a lot of videos on that. Or you could pick a, um, maybe a Python or something like that. Both of these have free tools that you can download so it won't cost you any money. There are a lot of videos on it and you can get your feet wet. Now once you do that and learn the basics, then you can come back and learn Java, C or C++, which are more demand because you're gonna have the basics, especially with something like Pascal because it's a strong type language and it's gonna force those fundamentals. If you're looking to build a company, then you have different considerations altogether. You have to figure out um, what language you would use to build your company on. Are you going to target iPhone? Are you going to target Android? Are you going to target, target Mac, Windows? Is it web only? And based on the answers to those questions, you're going to pick different languages. You can also use these other sites to say, what am I going to have to pay uh, for somebody else to build this if we need to? So you know what they're going to cost. Um, you can see which ones are in demand. And from there, you can pick an appropriate language. I would just say that if it's a desktop app, it's probably going to be a C, C++. If it's on Mac, it's most likely going to be Objective-C. If it's a company selling software to other companies, um, Java is very common for, uh, again, these big enterprise apps. If it's a web-based uh, application or software that, uh, that you're working on, it could likely be a, a PHP or, or Python. Um, actually, these can be hosted by Google and Amazon, and there are a lot of uh, companies out there that provide hosting just for these companies. So take that in consideration, and I hope this video helps you out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.